Hi, I'm Pat Summerall, and you may recognize me from my NFL broadcast on television. I've been covering professional sports for a lot of years now, and I'm still active today, thanks to the revolutionary world of vision correction. You know, in my job, I had to be able to see the players on the field. I also had stats in front of me at all times, so every angle of vision was important to me. Now, with the crystal lens procedure, I see just as well as I did when I was younger. I'd like to share that with you today and encourage you to ask questions and explore the possibilities of sight with the crystal lens. You'll be happy you did. So let's now take a look at this new technology and see how it works. Thanks, Pat. I'm Dr. Michael Kovard, and I'm glad you're taking the time to learn more about your vision. In this video, we'll discuss how the eye works and how it changes over time, as well as some of the options available to help you see clearly again. Whether we're seeing the smiling face of a loved one or a favorite television show, our eyes are our windows to the world. Whether near or far, the young eye can focus on just about any object. But what happens inside the eye to make this possible? As early as the 1930s, Fincham theorized that the eye's natural lens flexes and arches. The purpose of this video is to illustrate this accommodative flexing and arching, which take place in both the natural crystalline lens and in today's accommodative intraocular lenses. As the focus changes from distant to near objects, the ciliary muscles contract, the ciliary fibers slacken, and the crystalline lens becomes more rounded for near vision. This process is known as accommodation. As we get older, however, our eyes lose the ability to accommodate. We may develop cataracts, which cloud the natural lens and can prevent a clear image from forming on the retina. Today, cataract surgery is one of the safest and most common surgeries, with approximately 3 million procedures performed in the United States each year. After we remove your cataract, it's replaced with an artificial lens called an IOL, or an intraocular lens implant. It's important for you to understand that you now have a choice to make regarding the type of lens that you will receive. Standard monofocal IOLs have been used widely for the last three decades and generally provide excellent distance vision. But because they do not move or change shape, you'll likely need some type of spectacle both for near and for intermediate vision. Patients may choose to replace the natural lens with an accommodating intraocular lens. Like the natural lens, the crystal lens creates accommodation from distance to near vision by moving along the visual axis. Both the original crystalline lens and the crystal lens also arch or change their radius of curvature to increase their accommodation. They both move anteriorly and flex or arch to increase their focusing power in the intermediate and near ranges. We can now bridge the generation gap with accommodating lenses. They allow us to restore the near and intermediate vision of our middle adulthood. Now let's hear what this crystalline patient has to say about their own personal experience. I was struck um, the first few days that I was able to actually see out of my right eye after the surgery. Color is now so vivid. I thought I saw blue. I didn't see blue. I must have seen blue. You know, I never, I, I didn't see green. I saw gr. I, I, I'm telling you, it, it is like it's a whole new world. It is just, um, it's just uh, intense, you know, um, and it's so exciting. The choice of lens that went into my eye, uh, I completely uh, trusted the doctor. And he said, here are your options. This is one that I would not go with. Here's the reason why. This is not for you. I believe this is exactly right for you. There was not even a moment of doubt. I started reading every sign in the place. Make sure you wash your hands before touching a patient. 
wear gloves at all time, put toxic waste here. Um, I, I, I just, I just, I couldn't believe that I was able to read it clearly um, without my glasses. I am so grateful that this whole thing exists, that you can do it. The miracle of then having your eye back, having your eye back better than it was when you could see really well. The enjoyment of um, reading and seeing and the enjoyment of color. Again, a grateful. I, I would have to say gratitude would be the word. If I had to pick one word. Happy days are yours and mine. Happy days are yours and mine. Happy days. I trust that you have found this video to be helpful and informative. Dr. Candival and I have been confidently in planning this lens since its FDA approval, and our crystal lens patients represent many of the happiest patients in our practice. In fact, if I were told today that I had a cataract, the crystal lens would be the lens that I would choose for my own eye. Here at the Covart Eye Center, Dr. Candival and I are dedicated to helping you achieve your best visual outcome so that you too can experience crystal clear vision once again. Should you require further information to help you better understand the options available to you, please feel free to ask me or Dr. Candival or any of our staff here at the Covart Eye Center. Thank you.